We're gonna be doing how we had been doing before. Yeah. Uh, you're a spoon aficionado. Yeah, man. Whenever I see a spoon, I get you know a little tingly, a little excited. My my pants get a little tighter than they were before. Uh, I, don't I just can't help not, myself. I don't not believe that. Oh, I found I found a black. I found a darky. Shooting him. Come on, drop it, drop it. Oh, you dropped charcoal. That's not what I wanted to see. I want to see his naughty bits all over the place. Ah, nothing to be found. I know what I'll do. Hey, let's try this on out. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can't get up to me, can you? So I have good news and I have bad news. Okay. What would you like first? Um, some news. Uh, the dumb news is I spawned out of bed. Right. That. Um. Is nowhere close to the portal. That wasn't the bed that I tapped outside the portal, which tapped. means that you do have to lay down in it. In oh yeah, you have to actually lay down. Be effective. It. I could have told you that. You just tapped I thought it that thought it was good enough. Yeah, I thought that as long as you like did it, it would act like you slept in it. Nope, not even close. You actually have to lay down it, which is why I was kind of upset that it was nighttime. So, where did you spawn? I spawned at my chateau. So, you're not close at all? Um, I'm in the nether again. So, yeah, I am close, but now I have to find it again. Figure out where the hell everything's <clears throat> happening again. Which shouldn't be too bad, because I've, I've spent a lot of time running away from things in the nether. I used to come here alone, and I used to just, like, see stuff and then run away. Because that's the kind of guy you are? You're like, oh my god, that's so scary, I can't do anything else but sit around and be scared to balls. Yep, I was just mining uh, glowstones, so there was no need for confrontation. <laughs> come on, you love fighting shit. Anyway, so how did you feel about the movie that we watched over the weekend? Uh, we watched... What did we watch? We watched a movie with people in it. A movie with people in it? Can you be more specific? Um, I'm trying to think about how I can be more specific. What movie did we watch? I watched so many movies. <laughs> what was one of the umpteenth movies that you watched over the weekend? It was uh, Wreck-It Ralph or the other one. No, oh, you Iron didn't watch Fist. Wreck -It. You didn't watch Fest. a Wreck It Ralph. No. The Iron Fist movie thing. I still haven't seen Wreck It Ralph, so I have no idea what's going on with that movie. Gotcha. Did you I, see it? I haven't either, no. But I was Can't saying sure. that it's got. I was trying to think of what our conversation was before that because we were saying we were going to watch one of those two movies. So, yeah, <laughs> we watched um, Man with the Iron Fists. Why is it that Wreck-It Ralph is so much easier to memorize and keep in my brain than it is for Man with the Iron Fist? <laughs> I, I was trying to go and lead you to it, but at the same time, I couldn't remember the name of the movie either. I wasn't trying to like be smart about it. I was like, I don't remember the name. And... Shit. So why don't you tell me <laughs> what that movie was? Yeah, yeah. And I thought you might, you might give me the name too, but you know, it became. Quickly and at that point, it was just more fun to just <laughs> see who could remember it first, as well as sort of like lead you to it. <laughs> Yeah, the, it was, um, oh shit, yeah, it was that movie, and it was good, I thought it was going to be, it's supposed to be like a star-studded cast, and it's supposed to be all this action, and RZA's supposed to be the he her hero for it, and stuff like that, so I thought it was going to be good, and uh, it was, and the characters are funny, and the character that Russell Crowe played in it was really well done, I just the sex didn't... depraved crazy white guy. Yeah, I just didn't. Um, I don't know. I, I didn't get excited about it the way that I thought I was going to because I like action that shows when when awesome things happen when someone like flips someone over and hits their kneecap and twists it to the outside and then uses their arm to pick up a to pick up a gun and then shoot someone else and then hits their elbow out and it pops. I want to see that happen. I just don't. And a lot of the action, I think it's cheaper these days and probably in the eternity of action films that it's probably just easier to make, um, to make a movie 
and do it and shoot shoot those things really tight like really close so that it looks like a bunch of action and then you see little stuff like you see someone get punched and then you see a bunch of close action again and then you see someone get kicked and you see a bunch of close action again so it's not my style ah oh, shit Hold on. but I, I need to run otherwise I'm gonna die <laughs> I'm already uh, in that same boat. I'm actually looking for food. It's not my it's not my ideal form of an action film, so I didn't appreciate it on that level. But I did like what it was going for, I suppose. Which was fun action to watch. It was fun. Yeah, it was really fun to watch. I just thought it could have been done better. And if you were going to make the movie, you would have done it quite a bit different. Yeah, I I probably would have um, taken out a couple of the slow parts and focused on shooting the action better, shooting those action sequences better, making them like you know I like to I like to look like I like to look it to look like a real fight, like someone is pulling off some super awesome kung fu nonsense. But when they shoot it the way that they oh, did in this shit. movie, Holy crap. Holy crap. it's debatable whether. Ah, uh, fuck! Ah, run, run fastlier! Oh my god, run fastlier! Uh, all right, I'm gonna be okay. I'm pretty much almost out of arrows though, so which is why I'm attacking things with my sword and uh, the hit detection on those dudes is a little, a little crazy. So I kind of need to attack a couple times and then run away. But yeah, good times. I'm resorting to very base um, defenses right now. Which is? Um, hitting a zombie with zombie fle with rotten flesh. So you're pretty much trying to get him to eat himself, huh? Yep. Si Silence of the zombies. Uh, you are the good at dying. So let's see, I have one Wither Skull again, so we we are doing terrible at this. Wow, that is a ton of pigment. Let's see. Ow. I'm going to die in a deep dark hole and no one's ever going to find me. Oh man. Bitch. I'm no better off than I was earlier. <laughs> And you're not even close to me. Did you? You didn't. You came all the way over here. You didn't even make yourself a sword, did you? I had. To, yes, I did. But I had a gold sword, and in my oh, that's not good. looking for you, I ran out of. I ran out of food, so I had to come back here and find some food. And now I had to fight a zombie and then get its flesh so I could eat something to sustain me. Right. But in doing that, I broke my sword, so now I don't have a sword either. Ah, oh, shit. That is a lot of pick dudes. That's not good. I no. got to use up my arrows. My best fucker. case scenario now is to find a place where I can make a sword and food or for you to figure out where the entrance is. Where we came in, so that you can give me something like well, food and a sword. What what entrance is this? The one where we came in, originally. Like the original portal. Like, is that what you mean? The one, the one where we came in originally. Yes. Uh. Shit. I probably don't want to go over there because I don't think I'm going to be able to find my way back over there. Let me see. Oh shit, yeah. there's so many pigmen. Did you anger them? Oh, I angered them a long time ago. These are still the ones I angered when I, I first was waiting for you to come. Okay, so let me see. I should probably figure out how to go and backtrack anyways because going out to that portal and coming out on the dry land. For those of you that um, are watching, and don't actually view the map. God damn it. Die, pig man. Give me a lie. For those of you that watch and uh, haven't been actually viewing the overworld map, when we come out of the, through the portal, 
we are absolutely nowhere close at all to the castle. Like we're, if you if you look at the map real quick at three decinos dot com slash map. Um, <laughs> one second. Uh, Mike always dies, <laughs> and we record. Three decinos.